What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. In this video, I want to talk about the AMC earnings coming up and a couple of things that I believe, well, basically I know Adam Aaron's going to be talking about that are very important to AMC's future, okay? Now, what we're fixing to be talking about is something called Project Popcorn, okay? Now, initially, when you hear that phrase, you may think that I'm referring to Adam Aaron's endeavor to put AMC Perfectly Pop Popcorn into the stores, but that's not what Project Popcorn was. When I get through with this video, you're going to understand exactly why I am so bullish on AMC. Now, before we get started, let me make this clarification for you. When I got into AMC, it was a recovery play. Cool. Uh, I felt that coming out the pandemic, people would want to go back to the movies, and they did. And I did not know about a short squeeze play in the beginning. Then I learned about it, and I got in. But once I moved from the recovery play to the short squeeze play, my perspective of the play completely changed. I was willing to hold and become a hero or zero. Y'all know the deal. It was very simple. Hedge funds got in on the short side. Retail got in on the long side. We met in the middle, and it's been a battle ever since. It's supposed to have been something really simple to where once we held long enough and the interest payment was to become too much of a burden for them, they would have closed out their position. We had no idea what we was going through. Then, after I switched my perspective from the long-term recovery play to the short squeeze play and my perspective changed, what changed was my concept of this is no longer a fundamental play. It's a squeeze play. But here we are, two years later practically, and still fighting the shorts, still waiting on them to cover, and we wonder what is going to be the future of AMC stock. So, I did a little digging. I found out something called Project Popcorn had been going on. And when I explain it to you, it's going to be really simple, and you're going to understand it, and you're going to get on fire, just like I am, waiting for the earnings report for AMC come Tuesday after closing. And just so you don't think I'm pulling your leg that there is such a thing that was called Project Popcorn, and it has nothing to do with the popcorn going into the stores, but it has everything to do with the streaming services, you're fixing to understand. Watch this. Right here in this article from the Hollywood Reporter states, Studios I 2022 theatrical slates windowing is getting very tricky. All right. And what they're going to be talking about is Project Popcorn. All right. And it says here, amid a growing gulf between haves and have nots, distribution chiefs are making difficult calls on which titles to send to streaming as early as 45 days after a theatrical run begins. And you scroll on down a little bit and you read the article and it says, before the pandemic, theater owners could demand a 74 to 90 day exclusive theatrical window. Okay, that's very important because that's where the battle started after the pandemic. Once the pandemic happened and the theaters were shut down and the studios started scrambling to figure out how they were gonna make money and they developed their own streaming platforms, then the pandemic was over with, people going back to the movie theaters and they didn't know what to do do they continue to stream to their streaming services or do they release it to the theaters and release it to their streaming services or do they release it to the theaters for a short amount of time and then release it to their streaming services? I mean, this was a big old thing, people. And the, the concept that they were trying to figure out was called the Popcorn Project. All right. They wanted to figure out, is it more cost effective for them to stri straight to stream or let it have a theatrical window of time that it would show at the theaters and then they would do the stream. Y'all know all this already. 
You just didn't know the names of it, probably. Theatrical windows, popcorn projects. That was what was going on. Now, we've had a lot of talk about Disney. And is there going to be a buyout and all this other stuff? I don't think so. I believe that what the news we're getting is that everybody has learned from Warner's Project Popcorn that the lucrative power of theatrical windows that the name of the video here is how Spider-Man saved AMC. Spider-Man was the first theatrical release after the pandemic that had an 88 day window. And it grossed the highest grossing in such a long time. Y'all remember the story when uh, Spider-Man come out and we were all excited about it. The purpose and the reason we have the blockbuster numbers versus some of the more mediocre numbers, and I could prove that to you, but they've learned their lesson. They said no. It's more, we make more money if we give the theaters their theatrical window back, and now we sit at many studios settling on a a 45-day theatrical window. Most studios believe that what we're about to be hearing from Adam Aaron is that now they do have reinstated exclusive theatrical window for films increased to eight weeks again. And this was written July 8th right here. That if we, if Adam Aaron has been able to negotiate with Disney Plus and HBO Max and all the rest of them, to give the theatrical window back, that is more revenue for AMC. Fundamentals are strengthened. Short theses is destroyed. The squeeze will happen. Now, I would have preferred it to have happened the other way like you do. That they got in the shorts. We got in the longs. We had a fight. And we win. But it seems as if it's turned into a fundamental play. And I love the direction Adam Aaron has taken AMC so far to make it a fundamental play. I believe in the squeeze, people. <laughs> Get ready. His earnings report is going to be powerful. We have, according to this article right here from filminformation.com, the theatrical window is back to eight weeks for most of the studios. With that, I got more to come. He's also going to talk about Highcroft and our investment in Highcroft, and I'm going to be doing a video about that next. Love y'all, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got 